Well, after finally beating the Tennessee Titans in a playoff game, in fact, Lamar ever beating the Tennessee Titans, today, the Buffalo Bills do make me want to shout. Because yesterday was just the free fall of Lamar Jackson's magic carpet ride since he came back recovering from coronavirus. This was a total collapse yesterday. Now, a lot of people, when they analyze this football game, look at the so-called uneventful first half. What uneventful first half are we even talking about here? The fact that Tucker missed two field goals yesterday. Two. Count them two, okay? Understand that Justin Tucker, for him to be Mr. Automatic in most cases... Misses two field goals because the wind in Buffalo might have affected him. If you do the math correctly, and the math would have been done correctly, in this one particular football game, if Tucker had made all three field goals in the first half, the Ravens would have been up 9-3 to three at halftime. Understand that. Instead, we heading into the half, but get this. 3-3 three, three tied ball game. Okay? Understand that. Right? And now we are going to have to go into the ultimate collapse of what happened. Let's get into... The offensive line getting bothered by the loud Buffalo noise. Okay? Now, I guess I can understand. One thing is a certain. That, okay. There were almost 7,000 people yesterday rooting for the Bills in person. And... There were almost a couple chances where the Ravens could have given up two safeties. Let's get into the first situation, and then we'll go into the events of what happened that could have transpired into the Ravens giving up a second safety, potentially, in one football game. One game alone. First situation before the end of the second half, when Lamar was able to cook up a drive that let Tucker actually make a field goal before the end of the half, Here's the craziest thing. First things first. Lamar was getting sacked so many times yesterday. It looked like this offensive line couldn't even handle the rushing defense from the Bills yesterday. Didn't John Harbaugh tell the offensive line that they're going to put a spy on Lamar because Lamar can run with the football? Okay, Josh Allen can run the football too, but he's more of a passer. That's a different story. So, it's almost the end of the first half. And what happens? Flat. Full start on Mark Andrews. Okay. Here's the problem. It backs us up near our own goal line. Then... Bozeman gets called for a false start or an offside. I don't even remember because that's how that's how annoyed I was when it didn't even happen. Then we go into something very disgusting that happened right by the end zone. Right? Let's get into something that happened right by the end zone yesterday. So... Here's what happens. Here's exactly what happens as I'm watching this videotape right now. 
almost the end of the third quarter, okay, and this was after, understand this, after the start of the second, the second half, when the Bills got the ball back, the Ravens just let Josh Allen stomp all over the defense, short little pass to Stephon Diggs, okay, but that's not even the worst of the problems. You're near the end zone. You have a chance to tie this football game. When I watch this play, what was Lamar thinking? What was Lamar thinking that all of a sudden, did you not see Andrews getting covered there? Did you not see that? That's literally my first reaction. And what's dumb here, when I rewatched this play, Lamar could have easily had thrown to Des Bryant. Des Bryant was open. Why would you make a dumb throw like that? I would have easily had thrown to Des Bryant. I would have been like, wait a minute. Too many guys pressuring Mark Andrews there. Teron Johnson runs the football for 101 yards. That was the death of the Ravens season right there. And the worst part is, fourth quarter, Lamar gets a concussion. And that could have been another safety. Now, what do you think of Tyler Huntley? What do you think of the kid that almost took Utah to the college football playoffs last season? What do you think of him? Looked okay. This was a complete dumpster fire yesterday. And here we go again. Another long off season where things just have to go right. They have to. We can't get rid of John Harbaugh, can we? No, that would be a big mistake. This is another easy, capable, winning football team that can get 10 or 11 wins next season and get another playoff berth. What is it going to take for Lamar Jackson to get over this hump? What? What, what? what will it take? What will it take? Well, I guess it's time for the Orioles to disappoint us again, right? Time to move on, and then in nine months, we'll hope for another dream ride with Lamar.